Hey everyone, it's Kara. Um, I know this video is a little late, and I'm sorry for it, but um, I've been very, very busy. So, this video is um, for my uh, summer solstice Lilitha altar. And let's get started. There you have it. I know my altar looks about the same, but, you know, I, I do change up some things. Um, like different incense, different decorations. Um, and then for, like, the, the foods, well, I just have this ale here, which is the green monster smoothie, which has, you know, fruits and vegetables in it. So, that's all good. And then we have the blue candle, um, representing for, uh, the summer solstice. And we have, of course, in this area here is, uh, my goddess side, which I have two goddesses. Um, this statue here is perfect, because this little girl, okay, uh, kids, you know, are so lovable. They really are. And I thought this little girl would be perfect for Aphrodite, because Aphrodite is the goddess of love. And the, uh, the bigger one, um, the other goddess I have is, um, Athena, which the bigger one, um, symbolizes, you know, like, protection, you know, do anything like war, so. I think this statue, um, is a very good find. And in this corner, which is the god side. And, of course, I have my little Buddha representing um, Apollo. I really couldn't find any uh, statue representing Apollo, so I just um, figured I'd go with um, this little jade Buddha until I can find something that is more suitable for representing um, the Greek god Apollo for, like, music. <clears throat> so, yeah. For the, uh, decorations, I have in here is lavender and shells. So, yeah. And for the incense, um, I didn't have any of the incense that was listed, so I substituted a, an incense. Um, because I wanted to go with lavender, but I couldn't find any lavender. So, I went to Walmart and I got this incense called, um, let's see if I can dig it out. Called Full Moon. It smells really good. So, we are going to start with, um, the uh, Sacred Space, um, Invocation, or however you, uh, want to say it. Um, it's earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Heed my words, protect thy magic, thy power of thy heart until it imparts. Okay, for casting the circle. By the powers of the elements rise, all five points may this circle bring protection to me. I'm going to start off with two different prayers. Um, one is for, um, like the god and goddesses. And the other one is, um, simply for the, um, summer solstice. So, uh, this prayer says... Guardians, guides, ancestors, Apollo, the god of music, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, Athena, the goddess of war, and other good spirits, help me in my following everyday rituals. Blessed be. Okay, now the um, midsummer prayer. Oh, Mother, thank you for the love you show me in all of your many manifestations. 
I see you in every leaf of every tree and in the dew of a butterfly's wing. Thank you for the joys and pains I have experienced and will experience this summer. Oh, Father, thank you for all your gifts, the gifts of sunshine and the gift of rain, the gift of happiness and the gift of pain. Thank you for life itself, the most precious gift of all. My love is forever with you. Please keep me faithful in your service. Blessed be. And now for the uh, closing of the sacred space and the circle. Elements of the rise, old and new, your presence are now been released back to your world. I thank you for coming down here and aiding me in my magic. So mote it be. Now the uh, um, breaking the circle. This ritual is now over and the circle is now broken. I thank the gods and the good spirits that participated with me in my ritual. Go and return in peace. So mote it be. And that's that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my um, summer solstice video and I hope you guys had a really uh, awesome summer solstice and again I'm sorry for this video being late well until next time peace and love bye